Did you know that you could increase your average order value? By upselling and cross-selling, you invite the customer to buy more expensive items, upgrades or other add-ons to generate more revenue. For example, do you want fries with that? We've all heard this phrase. The Happy Meal has made this marketing strategy famous. Its purpose? In the minds of customers, product bundling increases perceived value. Lower prices and added convenience make for a greater shopping experience. This works especially well for fashion-related e-commerce. Rather than having customers going back and forth between multiple tabs, determining which pair of jeans matches a certain jumper, offering an entire outfit at a discount makes the buying decision easier. With our newly redesigned Upsell Builder app, it's now easier than ever to create product bundles and increase your average order value. You can find the Upsell Builder app under the Boost Revenue category. You'll notice more Upsell apps here, and we'll continuously add even more in the Upsell Builder app, so stay tuned. There's no better time to be a Vitals user. You'll first notice these two tabs. The General Settings tab is where you can decide if you want to show the star rating from the Product Reviews app, and add translations if your store is in another language. In the other tab, Excluded Products, you can exclude certain products from being automatically used by our Upsell apps. All you have to do is click on Select Products and choose the ones you want. Now that we discuss what's generally available for all apps within the Upsell Builder, let's talk a bit about what you need to do to make sure your offers will run smoothly. If I scroll down, we get to this section where we're provided with some information. In order for the app to function properly, we need to make sure that these four conditions are met. First, you need to enable your store's cart page. You can have drawer, pop-ups or dynamic carts if you want to use our Upsell apps. In order to enable the cart page, all you have to do is follow this guide here. You'll get step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. Next up, you can have multiple upsell or cross-sell apps installed on your store. While all apps within Vitals work seamlessly and don't come into conflict with each other, if you use for example Vitals product bundles and an external upsell app, those will come into conflict and will not work properly. For a detailed explanation, click on this link and have a read. Moving along, in order for discounts to be applied properly, you need to disable custom checkouts. As it's clearly stated, upsell apps only work with the Shopify standard checkout. For more details, you've probably noticed a pattern here, you can click on this hyperlink and you'll be provided with more information. Lastly, dynamic checkout buttons. You need to get rid of them. In order to do so, you need to enable the High Dynamic Checkout Buttons app in Vitals. Click here and turn it on. That won't mean that your customers will not be able to pay via PayPal or Apple Pay. They'll have that opportunity in the checkout. With that, we are ready to start using the Upsell Builder app. More specifically, Product Bundles. Under the Offers tab, you see all the bundles you have already created. Obviously, if you're new to Vitals, this list will be empty. So let's remedy that by creating a new bundle. All you have to do is click on this button right here. At the top, you first need to name your new bundle. This name is only visible to you, so make sure you choose a name that's easily recognizable and makes sense, so you can find it without a problem later on. Since this is just for show, I'm going to call it Test 1. Underneath, you can enable or disable the bundle. You can also do this from the main dashboard as well. I'll show you that a bit later on. Now, for the fun part. Choosing the products that will be a part of the bundle. Just click Select and you'll get this pop-up. Now, you have three options. In this new bundle, you can include any product that you have for sale, a specific product or products from a collection, or any products from the same collection. This might be a bit confusing, so I'm gonna break it down for you. Any product that's self-explanatory. When it comes to specific products, you can select any product you want. You also have the option to select a certain product variant to be your default, or even multiple products. For example, let's say that for any phone case, I want to provide my customers the option to bundle it with a mug at a lower price. For that, I need to select all the cases in product A and click save. You'll notice this info bar letting me know that I have no inventory for one or more products. That's a cool feature built into the app for your convenience. I'll ignore it for now since this is just for show. Now I'll go to product B and select the mug. This is how the offer will look like. For any of the items in product A, our phone cases, our customers will be given the option to buy a mug at a discounted price. And you can add as many products as you like to this bundle by just clicking the plus sign or remove products. But what about specific collections? Well, when you select a specific collection, for example tees and hoodies, then all products from that specific collection will be bundled with the selected mug. It works exactly the same way as before, but instead of you selecting one or multiple specific products, you can choose an entire collection and be done with it. And our third option, same collection, means that product B, our mug, will only be bundled with other products from the collection it is part of. So, considering that our mug is part of two collections, 
homepage and accessories, then the app will automatically select products from those two collections to bundle it with. Whew, that was a long one. We can now move on to discounts. You can select the discount type, if it should be a percentage of the total amount or an exact sum, how much it should be, and what it should be based on. You can see how this will look like in the preview right here. Underneath, you also get some best practices for creating successful product bundles. I highly encourage you to read through them. You can show product bundles on the product page, cart page, or both. Simply make them visible or hide them. On the product page, you can customize the offer title and the message on the Buy Now button. While on the cart page, you have two distinct messages. One where you offer a discount and one where you don't. You can change the message, but please don't mess around with the syntax. The app will automatically populate the message with the correct information based on the offer you create. Lastly, you can customize the message that shows up near the discount on the cart page. Once you're done, click Save and go back to the main dashboard. Your newly created offer will appear at the top of the list. Here you can see its name, the products that are a part of it, the offer type and its status. This is where you can turn it on and off. All that's left to do now is turn on the app and check your store. So let's see, we created an offer with products from the Tees and Hoodies collection and a mug. If I go to the collection and select a product at random, I should be offered the bundle. Yep, here we go. And just to show you that this works with any product from the collection, I'll go back and select a different one. As you can see, the bundle is still being offered. At the moment, the bundles are being shown in this section right here, but you can customize that too. For the moment, let's click the Buy Now button. Both products will be added to cart, and the discount will be displayed in the cart right here. Let me show you another powerful feature, the cart upsell suggestions. I'll delete the product added to the bundle, update the cart, and you'll see here the upsell suggestion. Visitors can pick their preferred option and add it to cart with a single click. Again, the discount is shown. I was telling you earlier that you can customize the placement of the product bundles on the product page. If we go back to the dashboard, scroll down, we find the placement section. If you open the editor, you can manually pick where you want the product bundles to show up. One last piece of advice, if you want to delete an offer, click on it, scroll all the way down and click delete. That's it for product bundles. If you have any other questions, you can always check our help center or get in touch with our customer support team. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel as we post new videos every single week. If we can help with anything, please let us know. Our customer support team is available 24-7. Thanks for watching and see you soon.